Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well. Now I'm sure a lot of us have been told in our lives what our very first words were ever. They're a pretty huge deal, but some people argue that the last words a person says before they die are even more important. I found some great examples of this. Some of you may find these pretty intense, but here we go. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 famous last words. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Kurt Cobain. The Nirvana frontman was as famously talented as he was troubled. He returned to the US after a tour in Germany and was faced with a drug intervention from his wife and close friends. Although he initially agreed to the program, he escaped the facility and a week later his body was found. He had killed himself with a shotgun to the head. The suicide note he wrote addresses his wife, his children and his lost passion in life. The final line simply read, it is better to burn out than to fade away. Next up at number 9 now we have Leonardo da Vinci. Not many people in human history have had such a big impact on art, science, music and engineering as Da Vinci. His paintings are instantly recognisable and his inventions for early parachutes, helicopters and tanks were held back only by the technology around him. You'd think that a man like that would have some sort of pride in himself, but surprisingly not. When he died from a stroke in 1519 at the age of 67, Da Vinci's last words were, I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. Well, what hope do the rest of us have then? Coming in at number 8 now, we have Elvis Presley. He is undoubtedly one of the biggest musical and cultural icons of all time and had adoring fans all over the world. Now towards the end of his life he suffered with obesity and drug addiction. On August 16th 1977, age 42, he turned to his partner Ginger Alden and said I'm going to the bathroom to read. That's exactly what he did. Unfortunately years of drug and food abuse meant that when he strained his heart suddenly stopped. He was found dead with his face on the floor. Alright at number 7 now we have Thomas J. Grasso. Now he was a convict who was executed in Oklahoma on March 20th 1995 for two murders. As with many inmates on death row, he was asked what exactly he wanted for his final meal. He had 24 steamed mussels, 24 steamed clam, a double cheeseburger from Burger King, 6 spare ribs, 2 strawberry milkshakes, one and a half of a pumpkin pie with whipped cream, diced strawberries and a 16 ounce can of spaghetti meatballs. That last one was the problem though for Thomas. He wanted spaghettios, not spaghetti meatballs. His last words before the execution were, I did not get my spaghettios, I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Talk about getting your priorities straight. Ok moving on to number 6 now we have Tupac. Any conversation about the greatest rapper of all time will always feature this man's name. On September 7th 1996 he was in a car with Suge Knight after a boxing match. They pulled up to some traffic lights and then a car next to them wound down their back window and a gunman shot at them repeatedly. When a police officer arrived on the scene he found Tupac on the floor covered in blood. The officer tried to get a dying declaration from him and asked him who shot him. He looked him in his eyes, took a deep breath and said F you. After that he slipped out of consciousness and never came around again. At the number 5 spot now we have James Brown. Now He was known as the godfather of soul and had a career that spanned an amazing 6 decades influencing millions of musicians in the process. He was still playing shows right up to the end. On December 23rd 2006 he visited his dentist who was shocked at just how weak and ill he looked and he told him to go and see a doctor. His condition worsened and he died on Christmas day from heart failure. His last words were to his manager. He told him, I'm going away tonight. He took three long breaths and fell asleep before dying. Coming at number 4 now we have Karl Marx. This 19th century philosopher and political theorist founded the notion of Marxism, the belief that capitalism will eventually lead to a class struggle and a communist society. Now Marx was known to always have something to say on everything. There are literally hundreds of quotes out there attributed to him, which is why people expected an epic final one from him when he died. Before he died he told those by his side that last words are for fools who haven't said enough. Ironically that is definitely a pretty good last words quote. Next up at number 3 we have Marie Antoinette. She was queen of France during the French revolution. She was found guilty of high treason by the revolutionaries and sentenced to death. It was execution by guillotine. As she walked up to the scaffold her last words were not about the revolution, her innocence or her thoughts on life. She simply said, pardon me sir I meant not to do it. She said it to her executioner because she had accidentally stepped on his foot. 
I don't think the apology was needed. He was about to do a lot worse to her. Coming in at number two now, we have Sir Winston Churchill. He was the Prime Minister of the UK during most of World War II and was once voted the greatest Brit of all time. He was known for his quick wit and incredible command of language. He had one of the biggest impacts on British politics and died age 90. His last words were, I'm bored with it all. Now, some people expected a more complex quote to remember him by, but others felt like Churchill being bored of life showed that he was going out because he wanted to and he was doing it on his own terms. All right, at the number one spot now, we have Bob Marley. The Jamaican reggae artist stands as one of the most legendary music acts of the 20th century. In July 1977, he was diagnosed with cancer. Now, over the next four years of his life, it spread to the rest of his body. Eventually, his vital functions worsened. He was rushed to hospital in Miami. His son, Ziggy, was by his deathbed. He turned to him and said his final words, money can't buy life. For a man that spread so much love through his songs, I think those seem like very fitting last words. Which one of those was your favorite? Have you guys heard of any other good ones out there? Let me know what video you want to see next on the channel. As ever, my name is Danny Burke, and I'll see you all in the next video.